Hello everybody, welcome back, and um, yeah, I changed up my hair for funsies, I really really like it, I went dark dark this time, and I added these little bangs, I love them so so much, I feel so cute, and like Shigo from Kim Possible. Anyways, today, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be decluttering my makeup collection once again. I am going to split it up into two parts so we can be a little bit more in depth with why I'm keeping something or why I'm decluttering it. Today I'm going to be starting off with my complexion products as well as my cheek products. And as always with the products I'm going to be getting rid of, if they're in good condition, I'm going to be passing them along to friends and family. I don't have a crazy influx of product right now to be donating to any shelters, so when I offer it up to my friends and family, usually all of it goes. But for the things that are either rotten or just too old, I will obviously have to dispose of them. I'll recycle what I can and I'll have to sadly throw out what I have to. But I think that's all I have to say before we get into it. So before we do so, I'd love for you to subscribe if you aren't already. It would mean so much to me and let's get to it. So here is my top drawer with all of my base products. And as you can see, it's pretty cluttered in here. I'd ideally like to switch things up in here as well. I kind of want to make all of this concealers, move my skincare back over there, and make more room for either primers or more foundations. Um, I just need to reconfigure this a little bit. And then I also have brows over here, and then potted concealers and color correctors right there. And I also move stuff into this separate container. These are all of the things that matched me in the summertime. It just did not fit all together in the top drawer anymore. And this is the other drawer I'm going to be going through today, which also needs some reorganizing for sure. So all of this is blush. <laughs> I have bronzers right here, highlighters, and I have additional blushes over here. And in my bottom drawer here, I have backups of things that I love. And then I also have like contacts and glasses and just a random bunch of stuff in there too. And brush cases and makeup bags. And right here, this is where I plan out videos. Um, this is just for my January roundup. I just leave everything out in the open so I know what I brought in and I don't get confused or forget anything. And here I store the new products that I receive in PR or that I've purchased that I just have not tried out yet. I'm going to start off with the bin that's bothering me the most. So I have my foundations kind of in this area, primers and concealers. I think I'm just gonna hit the foundations first just to get it out of the way. Starting in a very easy place, I'm going to be keeping both shades in my LYS Triple Fix foundation. I use MN3 or MN1. I have this Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation, sadly in a way too dark shade for my skin, so I'm going to let this one go. I'm also going to let go of my Quo Beauty foundation. I just rarely reach for this one anymore, and that's about it. <laughs> I'm gonna try to be really harsh on myself today. I don't wanna keep things because I liked them in the past. I just wanna be realistic with myself. For the Glossier Skin Tints, I get good use out of them. I use the shade G9 or G8. I'm also going, whoa, I'm also going to be keeping all three of the shades I have in my MAC Studio Radiance Face and Body. I use C3, N0, or N1. I have three shades in the Armani Luminous Silk. I'm going to be getting rid of the shade 4.25 because it's just too pink for my skin tone but I am going to be keeping these two shades, 4.5 and 5.9. I'm going to let go of my e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation. I just rarely reach for this one anymore, and I just prefer other things I have. I have two shades in the Pat McGrath Foundation. I should realistically let go of the shade Light 7 because I got this a couple years ago right when it launched. Let me see the consistency. Yeah, it's a little bit chunky and grainy. It is still liquidy, but it's I see like a lot of graininess in the mixture, so I'm gonna let go of light um, seven, but I'm gonna check this one that I use in the summertime, light medium 13. That one looks a lot better. I have two shades in the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Oil Free. This one, I forget about it quite often, and I feel like I'll use other tinted moisturizers ahead of this one, so I think I'm gonna let this one go. I don't have any hard feelings on this one. It performs okay, like it works well, but it's just not my favorite. So I'm gonna let these go. 
I have two Oma Beauty foundations. I have the Say What foundation and the Flawless IRL. This one I believe is available at Walmart or drugstores and this one is a bit more pricey. Um, I have to try this one again so I'm for sure going to be keeping this. And the last time I used this one, it did something really, really weird on me, but that was the only time I've ever had a weird experience with it. So I think I'm gonna keep it around, try it again, but if it does something weird again, I might get rid of it. But this is a really loved foundation, so I don't know what happened that day, but it almost like, I don't even, I don't know. I just have to try it out again, <laughs> so I'll keep it. I'm going to get rid of my NYX Total Control drops. I just don't really enjoy these as much as other things I have in my collection, so I'm gonna let it go. I have four shades in the Fenty Beauty Ease Drops. I have two eights, so I might let go of one. Uh, I just don't think I'm gonna run through so much of my eight, but I also have a five and a nine, so something to cover all my bases. This one is a bit sad, but I'm going to let go of the Bobbi Brown Intensive Skin Serum Foundation because it breaks me out like crazy. I love the way it looks on my skin, how it performs and everything, but it just breaks me out, so I'm not going to ever really reach for it again because I don't want that to happen, so I'm letting these ones go. I'm also going to let go of my Sephora S Clean Foundation. I've had this for a very long time and it's a clean product, so I'm going to get rid of it. It's past its prime. I'm also going to be getting rid of my Gucci Beauty Foundation. I never ever reach for this one and the shade is wrong for me. It always just looks too light and it's just not my favorite formula. I'm going to be keeping my M Cosmetics uh, Cushion Foundations. Love these. I'm also going to be keeping my Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tints. I have three shades here. I forget which one matches me the best, um, so I'm going to determine that on another day, but I have medium, sand, and light medium. I'm going to get rid of this Milk Makeup Foundation. This is their Blur Liquid. It's just too deep and too yellow for my skin tone. And I'm finally going to let go of the Glowish by Huda Beauty Multi Dew. I just really do not get along with this product. I'm going to keep my Rare Beauty foundation. I use the shade 190W. I'm going to be keeping these two shades in the Airbrush Flawless Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. I use six or three. I have my Say Slip Tint. I'll be keeping this one. I really enjoy it. And I'm also going to be keeping my L'Oreal True Match Nude Serum. I like this one so much. I have two shades in my Milani Screen Queen. I'm going to be keeping both of them. I have 250 and 240. These ones are getting old, but I used one not too long ago and it was still, still fine. So I'm gonna keep them. This is another great tinted moisturizer I have in my collection. So I'm gonna be keeping them. These are the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizers. I have the shades Light 2, Light 1, and Light 1.5. This is another easy one. This is super coverage. This is the Danessa Myricks Vision Cream Cover. I'm going to be keeping this one. I love adding this into my lighter coverage things to pump up the coverage. It's really great if I'm having some breakouts or if I just want a very flawless finish. It's awesome. And lastly, I have my Undone Beauty Matte Tints and Glow Tints. I'm going to get rid of these two shades because they're just too light and the wrong undertone for me. These are the shades Cream Light 425 but I'm going to be keeping these ones because they're my perfect shade, 435 Soft Beige Medium. And that was it for foundation, so I'm just gonna put them all back. I think they're all going to fit in here now. So I just put my current shades back in here and I just put the darker shades here just for the moment until I rejig everything else. Um, but that'll do for right now. Now I'm going to do primers and glowy things. I have my two Rare Beauty primers, so the blurring one and the glowy one, I'll be keeping both. I have my Wet n Wild Impossible Primer. I will be keeping this. I am going to let go of my Becca Light Shifters. I just don't reach for these ones anymore and I have other glowy booster things that I 
pick out more often. For example, this one right here, the Iconic London Radiance Booster. I'm actually gonna let go of my Glossier Future Dew. It just does not work for me anymore and it's a bit old. I'm gonna let it go. I have two shades in the Auric Glow Lust. I use the shades Pyrite and Selenite. I'll be keeping both. I have my MAC Strobe Cream. I'll be keeping it. I have the shade Gold Light. I have two of the putty primers from e.l.f. I have the Acne Fighting one and just the Pore this one, uh, I feel like I'll... I don't really like the poreless one as much. I'm just going to keep the acne fighting one. I have my Hydro Grip from Milk Makeup. I will for sure be keeping this. I have a mini of the Tatcha, the Liquid Silk Canvas. I really enjoy this one, so I'm going to keep this. I thought I had way more primers, but that's it. Now I have eye primers. These are all the ones I like. Well, actually, I'm going to get rid of the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer. It does not work for me as well as the other ones here. Um, so I'm going to be keeping the... NYX one. This is a great drugstore option. It works really well. I also have the NARS one, the Fenty Beauty one, and the Rare Beauty one. Ooh, this was under my leg. It's the Pat McGrath Intensifies eye wand, so this is fun to use with shimmers and such, so I'm going to keep that here as well. Now I'm going to hit my concealers. Starting off easy, I have the Undone Beauty Concealer Palette. I'm going to be keeping that. I have four shades in the Pat McGrath Concealer. I'm going to be getting rid of this because the last time I used this, um, it just didn't work. You can even see they're expired. <laughs> Hopefully you can see it's all separated and yellow and kind of chunky, so bye-bye. I have three shades in the Kosas Revealer Concealer. I'm going to be keeping all three of them. I use the shades 3.2, 03, and 03W. I have two shades in the Rare Beauty Concealer. I'll be keeping these as well. I have 210N and 190W. I have the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. This is just way too light for me, so I'm gonna let it go. I have my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I've been really enjoying this one, so I'm gonna be keeping it. I've got a couple shades in my Fenty Beauty Bright Fix, so I'm going to keep all three of these. I have Melon, Golden Ivory, and Butter. I feel like I don't even need to tell you what I'm going to do with these ones here, the Lancome All Over Concealer, keeping both shades. I have 250 and 215. This is a Danessa Myricks Vision Cream Cover Wand. I'll be keeping this one as well. I have two shades in the Bare Minerals Original Concealer. I'm just not the biggest fan of this, so I'm going to let these go. I have the Josie Marin Vibrancy Concealer. I'll be keeping this one. I have three shades in my NARS Potted Concealer. I'm going to keep all three. I have a couple color correctors here, kind of bunched in here. I'm going to keep all three as well. I have the Bobbi Brown one, Becca one, and a Charlotte Tilbury one. This is another great concealer. I'll be keeping both shades. These are from Quo Beauty. Um, I don't know what shades I'm in. I think beige and four and something mysterious here <laughs> keeping those i also have the glossier concealer which i enjoy as a foundation now so i'm going to keep this i'm also going to be keeping my kaja beauty concealer i'm going to be getting rid of this nars radiant creamy concealer i just don't like this formula anymore for my under eyes i just prefer other things so i'm going to let it go but i'm going to be keeping these three right here so i have the elf hydrating camel concealer the milk Flex Concealer, the Oma Beauty Stay Woke Concealer, and the Fenty Beauty one as well. Okay, wow, well, that worked out perfectly. So here is the first bin done. I'm very happy with this. Um, I like how all the concealers are here. This might change a little bit, we'll see, but Overall, I feel like I can breathe again. Now let's get into my powders. I might just do it out of the bin. I don't feel like I need to remove everything. Yeah, so here I have my LYS Triple Fix Translucent Powder. I'll be keeping that. I have two shades in my Charlotte Tilbury setting powder. I have the Annabelle Perfect Matte Powder. I'll be keeping that. I have the Loose Powder from Pat McGrath as well as the under eye powder. Look at this, I'm almost finished it. So close. This is my Kosas Cloud Set. I have the NARS Loose Setting Powder 
and I also have my Makeup Forever setting powder here. And these are the ones that kind of don't fit in the front here. But I'm going to let go of my Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil. I just don't really like this one. Completely forgot I had it. So I'm just going to let it go. I'm also going to let go of the Beauty Bakery Bite Size Powder. I just don't really use this one ever. And I'm also going to get rid of this blotting powder from Fenty Beauty. I actually prefer the blotting sheets from Rare Beauty or just any blotting sheets of that matter. So I'm going to let go of that. So Dear Dahlia will just chill right there or maybe I'll do this so I reach for it more now let's do my setting sprays so this here is cinema secrets I just leave it in here in a smaller thing so it fits in my collection and I can reach for it every day I have the dewy setting spray from NYX I think I'm gonna let this one go I just don't really care for it anymore but I am going to keep the matte one because I don't have a matte setting spray and it's nice in the summer when I'm a bit more oily I have like one more use out of this Lila B one. I might not put it back into my collection. I might just put it on my desk so I remember to use like the last use. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put it to the side. I have my Rare Beauty setting spray, which I l adore. I just love this thing so much. This one I'll put into my skincare one, but this is the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. Really, really nice. I'm actually gonna move this Tower 28 one there as well. I have the YSL new one. I've never tried it before. Pfft. I don't know why I put it in that section so quickly, but I'll give it a shot. I have a beautiful Fresh Fix Plus here from MAC. I'm going to keep that around. This one is my number one favorite setting spray of all time. This is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Spray. It's awesome. This is another really good one, um, but I think I'm going to let it go. I just don't need so many sprays. I'm also going to let go of these two, the Elf and Jen Atkin one and the Wet n Wild honey one. I just don't really use these. And this is another one of my all-time favorite ones. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Setting Spray. It's great. You know what? I actually have regrets. I'm going to keep the professional one from Benefit there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep it. And I'm going to move my foundations that were in the back bin here because this is more in the foreground of my drawers, so I'll be able to see the foundations here. I feel like it makes a bit more sense this way. Done. And I'm going to put the shades that I'll use in the summer back here so I'll be able to switch it up easier. There we go. Now last section for the top drawer is eyebrows. I'm just going to go through this quickly. I don't know if I'm going to get rid of much here. I'm just gonna get rid of these three things. I just never use actual pear soap as like a brow gel anymore. So I'm just gonna let this go or reuse this as like a hand soap. <laughs> and then I'm getting rid of the Undone Beauty Eyebrow Duo just because it doesn't match my eyebrow color. And I'm gonna get rid of the Refi Brow Gel because this stuff has given me too many nightmares. Time to move on to the second drawer. I feel like I have a good flow today, like this is going well. I'm really happy with what I've gotten rid of this far, but now I really want to be harsh with my bronzers because I just don't use all of these and I don't need all of this, so let's do it. So starting off with the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, this is the airbrush bronzer. I'm going to keep it. I haven't used this one in a very long time, but I feel excited about it. I want to revisit it. So it's a keeper. I have two shades in the Gucci Beauty bronzers. I've purchased both of these. I'm going to get rid of the deeper shade, which is 02. This is 02. This is 03. 02 is just a bit darker and a bit more red. This one's better for my more yellow olive neutral skin. Sometimes I'm confused with my undertones, but this one matches me the best. I'll pass this one on to my mama. Hopefully it matches her. Uh, we'll see. I have four shades in... Fenty Beauty. So I only have one powder one, which I'll be keeping. This is in the sun. I kind of feel torn on the shade Amber because it does look really, really great on me, but that might be nice for some certain looks if I really want to carve and create shadow. So now I'm second guessing that, um, but I think I will keep it for now because I am second guessing it. 
but I'm for sure keeping Butter Biscuit. And I'm gonna get rid of Macchiato because it's just a little too deep for me. I use the shade Butter Biscuit a lot more so than Macchiato now. I have the Trini London Little Golden Glow Bronzer. I'm gonna keep that. I have my beloved Glowish Huda Beauty Bronzer. Obsessed with this one, I'll for sure keep it. This is one of my treasures in my collection. I just love this thing endlessly. I just love this thing so much. It's the tan palette from Natasha Denona. I just hold so much love in this one. I don't know what it even is. It's just so special to me. I'm going to be keeping my Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. I'm going to get rid of my City Bronzer from Maybelline. I just have had this one forever um, and I just feel like I should. I'm also going to get rid of my Quo Beauty Bronzer, which might seem weird. I really, really love this one, but every time I use it, I wake up with breakouts in the areas where I apply it. I have no idea why. Bacteria might have grown in this one. I'm not really sure, but this one kind of hurts for me to get rid of. I have loved this one, and it's such a great formula. I just don't trust it anymore, and that's sad. I'm going to be keeping my e.l.f. powder bronzer in the shade Forever Sun Kissed. I'm going to be keeping my L.Y.S. bronzer. This is my favorite go-to flat matte bronzer. It's such a great tone. It blurs. It's just great. But I am going to be getting rid of my Ilia one. I just don't ever, ever, ever reach for this one. I'm going to be keeping my Danessa Myricks power bronzer. I haven't used this one in a while. I should revisit it. This is another product I'm obsessed with, the Patrick Ta Duo, for sure keeping. This is the Melt Sculpt Stack. I do get good use out of it. I like the contour color in here a lot, so I'll keep this one around. This is one I'm iffy on. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't, but I still feel like I need to figure out the best way to use it, and I don't feel ready to get rid of it yet. It's the Undone Beauty Water Bronzer. I just have to learn how to use it properly, but I'm gonna keep. I have two shades in the So Soft Sticks from M Cosmetics. I have Summer and Terra. These are some of my favorite products I have in this section, so for sure keeping that. I'll be keeping the Makeup by Mario Soft, Scu Soft Sculpt Stick. I'm using the shade light medium right now, it's great. These ones right here I haven't used in a very long time. I kind of feel like I should get rid of them, but there's something holding me back, so I'm gonna keep them. These are the Nabla bronzers. I'm actually gonna get rid of Dune because I never ever use this one. It's far too red and too deep for me, so I'm just gonna keep Ambra. Maybe that's what was giving me the sign. I'll be keeping my Kosas bronzer. I use the shade light. I'm gonna get rid of my Huda Beauty Tan Tour. I've had this for like four years, it feels like, and I just prefer other things. Every time I revisit this one, I don't like it as much anymore, so I'm gonna let it go. This is my Milk Beauty bronzing stick. I'm gonna keep it. It's just so tiny and cute. <laughs> this is the Danessa Myricks uh, Contour Balm. I forgot I had this, so I need to revisit this. It was really, really nice. This is the NARS Matte Bronzer in the shade Vallarta. I think I'm going to let this one go. I haven't reached for it in far, far too long, so I just don't need it. This is my Say Cream Bronzer. I really, really, really love this one, so I will for sure be keeping it. This is my new tan tour. It just works so much better. And the last two I have here are the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. Oh, this is a... what? Oh, I must have had... <laughs> the two lids off of my putty blush and bronzer at the same time because this says putty blush, but this is the putty bronzer. I'm gonna be keeping that and I'm gonna be keeping my contour wand from Charlotte Tilbury. It's time for highlighters. I also have my Freck here and Nabla Freckle Maker. I'm gonna keep both of them. I'm just gonna shove them in there. Oh my gosh, they look kind of like tatas. I think I've said that before, but these are the Moonbeam highlighters from M Cosmetics. I'm gonna get rid of the shade Aura because I only ever use Halo, which is a bit more golden. Yeah, it's a more golden shade, whereas this one's a bit more pink, I believe. Yeah, a little icy and light for me, like I can see the undercast of it, so I'm gonna get rid of that color, um, but keep 
halo. I'm going to let go of this MAC Postmodernist Peach highlighter. Not because it's limited edition, because it was, but it just doesn't perform the same anymore. It used to be really pretty and it would melt right into your skin, but I think it's gone off or something has changed about it. Um, it just looks really, really flaky when I apply it to my cheekbones, so I haven't reached for it in a while, so I'm letting that go. I'm going to keep my Flower Beauty Day Glow Highlighting Glaze, as well as my Charlotte Tilbury highlighter here, the Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter. I'm also going to be keeping my Natasha Denona I Need a Glow, I Need a Nude Glow highlighter. <laughs> I have two shades in my MAC Cream Color Base. I'm going to be keeping them. I have Pearl and Hush. Both love. I'm going to be keeping my Clarity highlighter from M Cosmetics. This is gorgeous. This is a definite keep. I don't think I need to even say that. I'm going to let go of this one. I completely forgot I had it. It's just not a favorite of mine. It's one that I have to like really alter to make it work and I just have other highlighters here that I just don't have to do that with so this one kind of gets forgotten. I have this one from Trini London which I adore. It's a gorgeous shade. It's the shade Candlelight. It's pretty similar to the MAC formula I just talked about but uh, just even sheerer and more dewy feeling. This is the Daniel Sandler watercolor liquid cheek color. I'll be keeping this one as well. This is the Makeup by Mario one. This is a really nice silky, silky silker one. I really like it. It's the shade Pearl. This is NARS Fort de France. I'm going to be keeping this one as well. This is such a classic. Uh, it's very similar to the Elia one, just finer in consistency. Um, I yeah, got a, got a little bit. I don't think I'm going to get rid of anything here, you guys, for the rest of the way here. So I have two Melt Sex Foils. I have the shade Gold Ore and Stargazer. I'm going to be keeping both of these. I'm also going to be keeping my Terracotta Stick from Guerlain, as well as my Milk Makeup highlighter in the shade Lit, and I'm going to be keeping all three of my Rare Beauty highlighters. And here is the last section. I am kind of dreading this. I'm losing steam. Ugh. Okay, here are my blushes. This is going to be hard. Ethan, I didn't even think I had this many. Okay, starting off easy, cover effects. Monochromatic duo, so I have Warm Honey and Soft Peach. I'll be keeping both. Patrick Ta blushes, I'll be keeping all of these. These are some of my favorite products I have in my collection in general. Um, so She's So LA, what is this one again? Do We Know Her? And then the palette. I'm kind of starting off easy to ease myself into this. <laughs> so I'm going to be keeping all of my melt blushes as well. These are all the cream ones. I kept a majority of the shades because they're just too darn beautiful. They're so pretty and so up my alley. They do look similar when they're in the pots, but on the cheeks they look different. So I got to keep them. I found a sneaky highlighter. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light wand. So I'll throw that into my highlights keeping that, but I'm also going to be keeping this one. This is a treasured product on the internet right now, Pinkasm from Charlotte Tilbs. I'm going to let this one go from Armani. I just never, ever, ever used this one, and when I have used it, it always looks kind of patchy on me. It looks like such a cute corally peach color, but it just does not work out for me, and it stinks. I have my M Cosmetics um, blushes here. These are the Magic Hour blushes or the Heaven's Glow blushes, rather. I have Magic Hour, Faded Clementine, and Venetian Rose, and they recently came out with two other shades. I'm so excited to try them out. These are some of my favorite blush formulas. Can't part with them. I have a couple iconic blushes from MAC. I have, I have Peaches, Gingerly, and Burnt Pepper. These are some of my coveted go-to blushes. I just adore them. Can't part them either. I'm going to let go of this Pat McGrath blush. I just don't love it, which is odd because it looks like a color I adore and I love Pat McGrath, but I just don't like this formula for some reason. It's fine, but that's it. Like it's not something I reach for ever. 
So I'm gonna let it go. This is an easy one as well. My rose ink blushes are such favorites of mine, so I'm gonna keep them. I even I haven't used all of these shades yet either because I'm still in such a love affair with Foxglove. <laughs> it's just so good. But I have Dahlia, Foxglove, like I just said, Anemone, and Heliotrope. I have my Undone Beauty cheek palettes. I'm gonna be keeping all three. Ugh. Another formula that I just adore so much from M Cosmetics, the So Soft Blushes. I'm going to be keeping all of the shades here as well. Now for Glossier, I think I'm just gonna keep the colors I know I'm going to use. So that's Puff, um, whatever this one is, Beam, Dawn, Ugh, I don't know. I don't know if I'll use this one, it's too deep for me. This orange is like too orange. I don't wanna look like a carrot, it's not my vibe. And But this red one might be fun to mix up with these ones. So I'm gonna keep these ones, get rid of um, Eve and Dawn. Wow, I, I just got rid of a glossy cloth paint. Who am I? I thought I had three of these glowish blushes. I'm going to part with them. I just never, ever, ever reach for them. They're not my favorite, so I'm gonna let them go. This is a really cute one from Bobbi Brown. Oh, I actually have two of these. Yeah, thought so. Uh, these are, what are these again? Pot Rouge. I have the shades Powder Pink and Fresh Melon. I'll be keeping both. I have a couple Care Weiss blushes. This is Desired Glow, which is my favorite. I also have this one here, which I, oh, oh. It just fell out, so it wants me to tell you what one it is, which one it is. This is Sun Touched, which looks pretty peachy to me. It doesn't really look Sun Touched to me. And this other one here, which is Lovely, I think. I prefer Lovely. I'm gonna get rid of Sun Touched and keep Desired Glow and Lovely. I'm going to be keeping all of my serum blushes from M Cosmetics. I'm finally gonna let this one go. I've had this in my collection for years and I never, ever, ever reach for it anymore. Um, and I never actually really did anyways. I just kept this in my collection because I wanted to love it so much because so many people love it and it looks gorgeous on so many people. I just always forget it, so I'm gonna let it go. I have three shades in the Tower 28 blushes. I have After Hours, Rush Hour, and Power Hour. I'll be keeping them. Actually, I think I'm gonna get rid of this one shade here. I just don't really use this one as much, Rush Hour. I have two shades in my NARS Air Matte blushes, Gasp and Hushed. These are some of my all-time favorite blush formulas. Gotta keep them. This is a no-brainer as well. This is the Kosas Blush Duo. Well, it's a highlighter and a blush. I just love this thing to bits. I'm gonna get rid of this Quo blush in the shade um, Brown Sugar. I just don't really use it anymore and I'm kind of scared of it for the same reasons of the bronzer, but I am going to be keeping these two from the liquid blushes. I really like these. The shades Pure 59 and Halo 35. This is a cute fall blush. It's very, very orange, but it looks really nice blended out. It's not too carroty, so I'm gonna keep it. It's the shade Swerve from Milk. I'm going to let go of these ones from Danessa Myricks. I just don't really get along with this formula much. Uh, the Vision Flush, I don't know. I'm gonna let them go. But I'll be keeping these three little pebbles. They're so cute. She said that in Robert Welsh's video and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, that's for sure. I used to think they looked like little mochis, which they still do. But anyways, nearly apricot, nearly neutral, and nearly rose are the shades I keep. I'm keeping all of these Rare Beauty blushes as well. I have two Undone Beauty water blushes, Raspberry and Merlot. I'll be keeping both of these as well. I have two shades in the MAC Glow Play blush. I have So Natural and that's Peachy. I'm going to let go of this Tarte one. I just don't use this one ever. The Sea Breezy blush in the shade Peach Sunset. I just don't, don't use it. This is Always Rosy from e.l.f., one of my top favorites, which kind of reminds me of my other favorite from Wet n Wild, which is um, Mellow Wine. Love these. I have three shades in the Daniel Sandler blushes. I'll be keeping all three as well. I have Chelsea, Caress, and Cherub. I have two shades in the Charlotte Tilbury Lip to Cheek glows. I am gonna be just keeping Color of Passion because Color of Dreams just isn't that nice to me. Like, I don't know, it's just not very special. I'm just gonna let it go. Oh yeah, see this one says putty bronzer on it, but this is the putty blush. I'm going to be keeping it, it's a really nice color. 
This is an LYS blush, which I do really like, but I just don't really use this one and I have a lot of colors like this. I think I'm gonna let this one go. And I'm also gonna let go of this Honest Beauty pink blush. I just never really reach for it too, too much and I have other similar colors. This is a Say blush, which is in a really, really fun color. I have nothing else like this. This is the shade Poppy. It's super, super, super bright and it's really, really fun. So I'm gonna keep that. This one I want to keep because it's so hyped up on the internet, <laughs> but it just does not look good on me. I think I'm just gonna keep it just to have it. I don't know. It's not gonna take up too much space, it's super tiny. I'm gonna let go of this Essence blush. This is a really, really nice formula. I just didn't really love this particular color on my cheeks. It's a bit too mauve and kind of gray-like, so I'm gonna let it go. Um, and then, I have a variety of the cream blushes from Fenty. So I have this one, which I don't know if I love. It's kind of too fuchsia, which is Crush on Cupid. This one is really, really fun. I love this when I did my Doja Cat video. It's the shade Bikini Martini. I also have Petal Poppin, which is like a peachy one but it has like a shimmer in it. I don't really love, love that one. So I might let get that one go and I might let this one go. This is the shade Rose Latte, which is my personal favorite. It's just a nice bronzy shade. And the last one here was part of their holiday collection. It's like a nice peach, peach face. Oh, it also is pretty shimmery, but it's like a, a different kind of a peach. I think I might keep that. That looks cute. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep those two shades, get rid of these two. Wow! Ta-da! Okay, wow. Everything fits in this one giant container. <laughs> and it looks so nice. Do I have room to grow? Not really. And here's an overview of all the products I'm getting rid of today. There's a few here that I'm looking at, I'm like, what? Why? But I know some of them are just too old or the shades just don't match me. But now let's show you the clean drawers. Here are all of my blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. This is just much, much better. I like keeping things confined to these containers. Although I do have a bunch of room to grow into, I just like having this amount. This amount does not stress me out fully. It's still a lot of makeup, but it's good for my job. And then here is the complexion drawer, which is what I'm most proud of. This is just much better. So summer foundations in the back. I have my foundations here right now and some right here. Powders, concealers, liquid and creams and my setting sprays and all of my skincare and stuff, brows, it's so much better. And there we have it. I really hope you enjoyed today's declutter. Keep tuned for part two when I hit uh, my lip products as well as eyeshadows and everything else to do with eyes. <laughs> I'm not going to be linking everything I have in my collection, but I'll link what I'm wearing on my face today. So you can check that out in the description down below and I will see you in the next one. Love you, bye.